Hey guys, it's the Hungry Fisherman. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna show how I make my dough bait. We're gonna be going out tomorrow to shoot a video, uh, see what we can get. Uh, dough bait is really super simple. You only need, for me, I only use three different ingredients. I use flour, patis, which is fish sauce, canned mackerel, and that's all the ingredients you need. Uh, Cam macro, you just open it, you're gonna use everything in it, all the juices, everything. Good spoon. Make sure you got your gloves because it stinks when you when you're making it. When you make the actual dough, when it turns into the dough, it's good to go. But uh, yeah, so put the gloves on. So first we're going to start with the flour, we're going to put it into a Ziploc bag. One, two, three scoops, I just like to start it off. I know a lot of people will put the wet stuff in first. I just like to put in a little bit of the flour just so it, that's just a thing of mine. Uh, next, we're actually gonna put in the canned mackerel. Careful, don't cut yourselves. So, canned mackerel. If you can get it in the tomato sauce, it works even better. Okay. And then the patis. Literally just a dash. It's really potent stuff. Okay. Mix this around just a little bit, just so everything starts marinating in itself. It's the reason why I put the a few scoops of flour in first, so it's just not squishing. You get it all over the place. All right. So from this point, you're just going to be adding flour and mixing. So you want to try and keep one hand clean. And one more. Let me start mixing. This is why you need your gloves. You can't be afraid to get in there. The actual canned macro, you have to make sure you squeeze it. You want it mixed in with all the flour. You want all the juices, the patis, everything mixed in well. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. Right now it would be considered more like chum. So, add some more flour. Good thing about this, it lasts a long time because you're only using small, small uh, dough balls and you make a lot one point, one time. You use it, don't use it all. Throw it in your freezer, save it for the next time, so on and so forth.
Yeah, I apologize for sniffling, guys. Some of the flour got in my nose. I want to sneeze. Okay, so it's getting there. It's a little, little wet still yet. So don't worry if you make it too dry because you can always add liquid when you're out at whatever place you're, you decide you're gonna go and fish you can't unless you have the flour it's not like you can add dry stuff to make it more doughy if you have it too wet actually sand doesn't really help I tried it before Sand, if I'm making chum, I'll use sand because it the sand holds the, the the smell of the chum. Take it out, make a ball. And if you think that's what's gonna stick on your hook, it's good, but this is still a little bit loose, still a little bit too soft. So just a, maybe one scoop. So, dough bait, I primarily use for, well, actually, I should say I've caught a lot of reef fish, uh, mainly reef fish, uh, such as Hinaleas, uh, Mamos, Kupipis. Uh, see, I've, I've also caught a Hole Hole, Nenui. Kala, Palani, Walus, all uh, reef fish that we have in Hawaii. Most of the time, uh, I try to target uh, Nanui, Walus, and Palanis because those, me and my family, we enjoy eating, especially over a uh, open flame. But if I'm going for bait fish, the mamos, kupipis, menuis, those are all, those are all attack this. Anyways, we're getting there. It seems like it's uh, about the right consistency. So you make a ball. And I don't think that this would actually uh, come off of a hook once you cast, so it's a little bit more tacky, a little bit more solid. I try to make this the night before. You don't really want to make it the day of, because you're gonna you want to throw it in the fridge 
if possible. I'm gonna dry out just a little bit more. Now, if you don't have patisse, okay, canned mackerel works just fine by itself. Patisse is just a little something I add. Uh, like I said, if you can get the canned mackerel in the tomato sauce, that works even better. So, uh, it's something about the tomato sauce. I think it's the acidity, acidity in the tomato sauce that uh, the fish actually really enjoy. So, this is the actual dough bait right here. See how it holds its shape, even in a big form. Hold it by a little bit, hold its shape. So this is about the consistency that you want. It'll pinch it off, make a ball. You can feel the chunks of uh, canned mackerel in there. This will last at least three, maybe four trips. Cause all you're doing, you can rip off a piece, throw this back into your cooler. This will last you a long time cause you're only using pieces like this big, right on your hook. All right, anyways, so that's how I make my dough bait. If you guys use it, great, let me know. And as always, stay hungry guys. <laughs>